On a desolate stretch of road in Paso Robles may lie the solution for overcrowded jails on the central coast. This empty juvenile corrections facility. Similar to a prison or a jail, so it has certainly some um, potential. At its peak, this 200-acre juvenile facility housed up to 1,000 young inmates, but today it's been empty since 2008. This becomes a potential facility to be able to house the overflow. San Luis Obispo Supervisor Frank Meacham and Monterey County Supervisor Simone Salinas want to change that. We're, we'll look at numbers, we'll do the number crunching, and then certainly look to the governor's office to say this is something that, that's available, we'll make it work by providing the funding to be able to run the facility. But what sounds good in concept may be more difficult in reality. The cost of operating the facility will be in the $20 million range. The county is looking at options to charge the other 57 counties in California to house their inmates here at a shared cost of $100 per inmate a night or run only a portion of the facility instead of the entire thing. But the sheriff says the need for the facility is going to depend on how many counties will partner to run it. It actually sounds good in concept. It doesn't look good on paper when you're talking about, you know, over $20 million potentially to run the facility. So there's a lot of work that's going to have to take place in order to determine whether or not it, it really will pencil out. Liberty Zavala, your Central Coast News.